So the purpose of this video will be to review how you can manage multiple banks and credit cards in Odoo's accounting uh, module. So if you open up the accounting application, the first thing you're gonna look at here is your dashboard, which I have it set up to display the different journals, banks, and credit cards that I'm working in. You can see my customer invoices, vendor bills. I have a Chase Manhattan Bank here with the last four digits 9321, an Amex, a Visa, and a Chase, another Chase Bank account. Now, if you look here, let's look at Chase Manhattan, for instance. On this, I'll be able to see the balance in general ledger and the last statement difference. I'll be able to also go in and configure the backend rules for this, or I could configure the bank that this is essentially integrated with. Now, another way to handle this is to go to configuration bank accounts, and you open that up, and you'll see your four bank accounts here excuse me, bank accounts and credit cards, which virtually function the same in Odoo. If you open up any one of these, you'll be able to see you can assign your bank account, your bank account number, and then your bank here. And if you have bank feeds automated by a sync, you'll be able to go in and configure that here. You can actually go in and configure, and it'll take you to the same page where you can select the bank that you work with. In addition to that, one important thing to mention is if I go to the overview here and I go to settings, advanced, you'll see when I, uh, when I sync this, when I say it's automated via a bank sync, I can choose the frequency at which my bank statements come in automatically. I can bring them in once every per sync, which by default is every four hours. I can bring them in daily, weekly, bi-monthly or monthly. And then as I mentioned before, you can configure your bank account there. One last thing worth mentioning here on the banks uh, is post-it bank reconciliation. So in Odoo, you have an option where it essentially creates a new menu in the invoice that says, don't post this until I've reconciled this specific transaction against my bank statement. For example, let's say a customer gives you a call and they say, you know, I, I submitted payment against this invoice. In your system, you may mark it as paid, which will post the journal entries and reconcile the payment. However, maybe there was a hang up on the bank's end and that transaction never went through. Um, at that point, right, you're going to have a discrepancy on your books. You're going to see some, one thing in Odoo, you're going to see another thing in your bank. And in order to avoid those discrepancies, Odoo gives you the option to wait to post the payment journal entries that you've received in Odoo until you've officially reconciled that transaction against that sp the specific corresponding line item on your bank statement. So I'll show you that if you want to in a subsequent demo, but that should give you an idea of how that works. It's pretty straightforward. Um, a little bit more about how these work. So what we can do, and I'm gonna remove online sync since I don't have that set up here. I'm gonna do just undefined. Now, what this also let me does when I just change that is I have the option, I can create here my own statements so i can actually pull this open i can you know and this is what you would see every four hours coming in you'd see an actual statement you know come in whatever the reference is you'd see starting and ending balance and you have all the specific transaction that hit your bank since the last import and we can just create a fake one here you know maybe we have um condo and maybe it's for $1,250. Perfect. Now you have an option, right? You can go directly to your statement, actually click reconcile, and you can either uh, choose an invoice to reconcile this against an open invoice, or you can, you know, go ahead and code it yourself if you want to. So let's actually go through a, a very straightforward workflow, right? Let's create an invoice for John Doe for 1250 and see what it looks like. And we'll sell product X at 1250, no tax, super straightforward. And you'll see, this is an invoice. It's in the draft stage right now. No journal entries have been posted, but the moment that I validate it, it will post journal entries against this account. And you'll see those journal entries created right there. And if you open those up, you'll see we've debited accounts receivable, we've credited product sales. Now, with this open, we can also register a payment, right? We can register the payment here, or we can go right to our customers, register a payment manually. Maybe they paid by check that day, whatever it may be. 
we can go in and create the payment here. Receive money, we specify the customer, we specify customer here, we specify the amount we're receiving and the payment journal we're going to associate this with. And we, once we confirm the payment, it's gonna generate the journal entries for the payment. And you'll see those up here. Bank debit, accounts receivable credit. Now, the only thing left to do is to match it. So you can either match it by going to the payment matching button on the payment, and you can select the two counterparts that you wanna match. Odoo will give you recommendations based on the customer, based on the amount, uh, based on those two items primarily. The other option is you can go to accounting reconciliation and it'll give you similar option. Now, once you reconcile it in Odoo, it will officially mark that invoice as paid. And just to show you what that looks like right now, let's go to the invoice. You'll see it's still open for the 1250. We haven't officially reconciled the payment against it. And the minute that we do, um, you can see it'll tell me I have an outstanding payment here, which I can add if I want. But what I'll do instead is uh, I'll actually go to the reconciliation tool and I'll just click reconcile. Tells you you're all done. And then if I go back to that customer invoice, I'll see it has been marked as paid. Once it's marked as paid, I'll see here, I can go and reconcile an item in my bank. Right, I can see John Doe and I can reconcile it against the 1250 customer invoice that we have here. And I've officially reconciled the payment I received in Odoo against the payment that hit my bank. So in a nutshell, that is how I can see the last statement of 1250. So that's how you can work with different banks and credit cards will work the same way. Someone will spend on a credit card. They will either they will submit an expense report or create, create a bill for it internally, right? And you'll be able to match that bill and the payment against the credit card statement in order to keep those two, um, those two different journal, I'll call them journals, but those two journals reconciled or the bank and the specific journal in Odoo that you're managing these transactions through. Um, the next thing that might be important for you to, to take a look at is the option to, if you're not having people submit expense reports inside the system, but you are receiving expenses anyways through there, you can still record those without having to go through the accounts payable process and all that. For example, let's look at this Amex account. Let's say someone come, I get, I look at my statement today and John is out having beers with Nick and we'll just call it beers. And we'll say John spends uh, $75 drinking beers uh, with a, with a uh, partner of yours. So what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to go in and you can see we have one to reconcile here, right? As the statement comes in, we'll see the number of transactions that have to be reconciled. You can open this up and you'll see beers with Nick, and I can actually go ahead and just code the account manually here. That's one option. The other option, if you don't wanna to have to go in and code it manually, is we have something called reconciliation models. Reconciliation models allow you to, in other words, create a shortcut, right? Let's just say here I have a uh, meals and entertainment um, code that I wanna automate here, and I can easily just select the expense, something like that for an example. And what I can do now is when I go back to that reconciliation model, I can see I have a button for meals and entertainment. All I do is click that and click reconcile. And just like that, I can go and look at my vendor payments and see that I've created down here in Amex, this one specifically for beers, $75. And I can look at the journal items here. So that will give you an idea of how, you know, we don't have to go through the actual creating of an invoice or a vendor bill in order to, you know, facilitate the reconciliation process. If it all depends on right how you guys work internally. If you just want to quickly reconcile items coming from your bank or through that happened to occur through a credit card, uh, you can do so without having to, to go through that, that lengthier process. Um, then the last thing I'd like to show you is the um, how you can rec reconcile once you actually hit the bank, right? So I can go here, and if I go to settings, and we look at advanced settings, I can post it bank rec and save it. Now, 
you saw how those journal entries all posted and everything uh, happened in the first example I gave prior to me actually reconciling uh, the transaction in Odoo against my bank statement. And let's take a look at what it, how it'll function now since I clicked this. So if we go in and create a customer invoice for um, John Doe at um, $10,000 and we save it and we validate it again, we'll post. Now we have an open invoice for 10, uh, I believe it is with tax 11,500. So let's go in and create the uh, another import of a statement. And we can just do like this. Now, we can see here, let's go look at the invoice. We have one that's open up here. Great, let's register the payment right through here. Great, and you'll see there's this new status that's created titled in payment. In payment essentially means you haven't reconciled it with your bank yet, Therefore, we're not going to reconcile this and mark it as paid inside of Odoo. So essentially, Odoo isn't going to tell you that this money has hit yet. And watch how it changes. Once I go in and reconcile this item against the bank statement, let's look at what happened to that invoice. Boom, it's marked as paid, just like that. And you can see here, tracks all the status changes. When the customer said they paid, when I actually marked it paid against my uh, bank rec. So that in a nutshell is how you'll be able to manage different bank accounts and credit cards in Odoo. Um, if you have additional questions or you want me to drill deeper as to you know how this all works, if you have a specific workflow or scenario you want to accommodate, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to uh, to assist. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.